Very grateful. So. Just talk about how that process went uh, when Juwan kind of re-interviewed you and when you knew that you were going to be uh, hanging around. Yeah, I mean, you know, as you could imagine, you know, everybody's world got rocked a little bit. And um, so that week, week and a half, you know, was a little unsettling, not knowing, you know, kind of what was going to happen next. And, um, you know, fortunately for me, I was able to, you know, kind of communicate with Coach Juwan pretty early, like, it was my desire to, to stay on and, and help him, you know, move forward in the new direction that he was going in. And, and um, you know, it all worked out. And uh, I'm very excited uh, to, one, not have to move my family, and then, two, to be a part of, you know, continuing on and going to another level of what we're trying to build here at Michigan. Obviously, a lot of what you guys are doing now is different than what Coach Beeline did. How are the kids adjusting to it, and, and how different is it for them? You know, I think our guys have been great. You know, uh, um, obviously, um, you know, when there's change, there's new philosophies, there's new ideas, and uh, change is good. And, um, you know, I give our guys a ton of credit uh, for their ability to adjust and, um, you know, kind of learn, you know, a relatively new system, uh, more so with terminology. And, uh, but, you know, there are a lot of things that are still similar uh, because it is just still basketball. I'm happy and I think we're happy as a staff with, you know, the direction that we're moving in right now. How have your day-to-day -day responsibilities changed since Juan came aboard? I know you used to work for the big team, you still working? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, that would probably be one of the bigger changes moving from the post players back to my natural position with the wings. Mm -hmm. You know, for the majority of my coaching career, I, you know, dealt with the perimeter players. Uh, so, actually, for me, it was a good shift back to, you know, what I've always known. And, um, you know, but I think that that's the beauty of our staff dynamic that, you know, we're all kind of interchangeable in terms of being able to teach because uh, player development is still going to be a huge part of what we do uh, here in our program. And I think that uh, uh, the ability to kind of move back and forth between different positions uh, is, will be a strength for our staff and obviously for myself. Mm -hmm. Did you feel like you were able to establish cohesiveness as a staff right off the bat? Right off the bat. I mean, I, I, I credit Coach Juwan with being very intentional about the staff that he's put together. Um, you know, he said right off the jump, you know, this was going to be an egoless staff, uh, one that, um, you know, the, the uh, people can really check their egos at the door. And, you know, <clears throat> for me, it's been a great um, it's been a great transition because I felt like, you know, our previous staff that we've had here, you know, we've had good um, flow, you know, to our work. And, um, you know, I, I really, really enjoy working with H and Phil and, you know, Dave and all the other new pieces, Coach Jay, that we have as part of our staff. Juwan, you see this word trust a lot. And how did, how did Juwan earn your trust? Once he came in and you started talking and you saw him operate well, you know, I, I, I think it, you know, like our relationship has kind of slowly developed since the first day I got here four years ago, uh, when he would just come back periodically, kind of around this time of the year before, you know, they would get started with the NBA, and he would just kind of pop in, you know, he would always talk some hoops, and then, you know, small talk about, you know, his sons and their development, and, you know, and, and uh, so I think once the transition came to the point where, you know, all right, now, uh, Wash, I want you to remain and be a part of the staff. Um, you know, he's just a genuine dude. I mean, I, I think, you know, across the board, anybody that you ask from his former teammates to, you know, uh, both in college and professionally and his colleagues, like everybody, the same the same thing comes across as you're going to get the most genuine dude that's out there in the business. And that's what builds the trust, the genuine side? Obviously. I mean, I, I think that, you know, authenticity is is very important in what we do because we spend so much time together as a staff and with our players and you know, recruitment. You know, I think people can kind of wade through some of the BS that's out there. and That's just not who he is as a person. And so it was very easy, you know, at least from my perspective, to, to, to trust him because I know that he has a heart for this place 
and um, I know that it's important for him to come here and do well. He gave up a lot, you know, as he has gone on record to say, like, you know, things were good where he was at. And, uh, there was only one coaching, college coaching job that he was going to take. And so the, you know that he comes here with a totally different mindset than just some average uh, place or just some random, you know, college experience for him. Where have you seen the biggest change with Isaiah obviously looking at a bigger role this year? I guess where will we see him? Yeah, I, I think Isaiah's leadership obviously is stepping forth. Uh, we need him to use his voice more uh, with this new opportunity to kind of um, play a larger role um, is, is going to be important. And I think he had a great summer, you know, getting his body together, uh, really working on his ball st skills to try to make sure that uh, he has a, a more of a comfort level handling the ball out on the perimeter and making plays. And so, um, you know, I, I just think his overall game, you know, you should see some steps forward. And, you know, for the first two years, he's kind of been, you know, that six man that we've really relied on to kind of be steady. Uh, and, and now that he's, you know, uh, evolved into, you know, a bigger role for us, uh, I'm excited for him in, in, in this season. What did you see? In terms of creating his own shot, I mean, you've seen that on, now that you guys are by the way, I'm, I'm not sweating because you guys are here. I'm just came from working out. So, like, right. I'm like man, you guys are. Right. I'm Tough told questions. to be. No, no. Um, what was the question again? In terms of creating his own job. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You guys need that from him. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that that will just be a work in progress for him throughout the season. Um, you know, trying to put him in a position where we create leverage for him, whether it be in a ball screen situation or kind of some quick hitter actions, you know, coming off pin downs and, and, and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I just know like he's really locked in and, and excited for his opportunity to kind of step forth and, and be Batman, you know, in some regards this year. So. We'll see. We'll all find out together, I guess. That's I know you've worked a lot with, with Brandon Johns in the past, but how have you seen him grow his game since last year? Yeah, you know, I think Brandon, as, as well as all of our returning sophomores, uh, have had a productive summer. Uh, Brandon spent this summer, you know, here on campus, both sessions, really developing his body. Um, you know, I think he's shooting the better with more, uh, shooting the ball better with more consistency. Uh, uh, going into this season. So those are all things that, uh, you know, have been encouraging from our standpoint. We're still asking him, you know, to take a larger role in growing defensively, you know, because he will have to, you know, guard a variety of positions. And um, I, I think him kind of being able to, uh, you know, show more uh, or play more at his natural position being a four uh, may help his confidence and then ultimately Know, help us help the team. Did, did you feel like you needed to add more confidence to this game just based on what you saw from him last year? I, I think so. You know, I, it's always tough, you know, for an incoming freshman, you know, when you're the man at your school and, you know, you've always played and then you come into a situation your first year where, you know, it's challenging and it's, it, it's nothing more than it's just a new level. And, um, you know, we had a really, really good team last year and so um, we didn't have to like slow down and wait you know, for those guys to develop. And, um, so, you know, in a lot of ways, he's still kind of a freshman from a playing experience uh, because he didn't, you know, get a lot of court time in games. Uh, but with that being said, I think he did take full advantage of his summer. And, you know, so far this season uh, or this preseason and, and our preparations and, and trying to, you know, take that next step. So and working with the, the wings, who, who is that on this roster? So, you know, that would be Isaiah, Franz, uh, Adrian, um, uh, Brandon, CJ. Um, I think that's everybody. I think that's all the chicken wings we got out there. <laughs> okay. with, so. with Franz specifically, what have you seen from him since he got yeah. here? Yeah, yeah, I think Franz has, has been a, a, a great addition, you know, to our to our program. You know, he brings a level of experience that a typical freshman, you know, doesn't have with his opportunity to play professionally, you know, and have that experience. So he's he's more like a seasoned first year guy. Um, obviously, he has areas where he has to grow and get stronger and you know catch up to the speed of the game, but. You know, he's a very high IQ player, um, you know, not afraid of the moment. And, um, you know, I've really been encouraged by 
um, his early uh, production um, here as we are getting ready for uh, games and stuff like here over the next few weeks. Are you working defense or offense? You know what? Uh, me personally? Yeah. Yep. Well, I've always worked both sides right. of the ball, but Coach is, is having me really put an eye on the defensive right. end this year, which for me is really exciting. Um, you know, I, I think I've been very fortunate to, to be able to absorb, um, you know, some pretty good defensive minds in Billy and Luke. And, um, you know, now being able to really, you know, kind of grow our team from that perspective um, is, is a good is a good change for me personally. How much of Luke's stuff are you still using? How much has been implemented by what Juwan's brought with him? You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if it's like just one person's sure. stuff. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's it's Michigan basketball. Sure. And so obviously with Luke and Billy being the, you know, defensive defensive coordinators, right. you know, they had a strong voice in it. Um, but, you know, I, I think that there will be a lot of similarities to what we've done in the past. Um, and then we will have our own, you know, tweaks and adjustments that we're going to make moving forward. So, you know, it's, it's just about trying to get better and being very solid in our base, in our base fundamentals and our principles. And, um, you know, just growing daily and, and by game to game and, and week to week as a team. I know you were so instrumental in Mo's development just now that you're with the Wings and have Franz. Now, what yeah. are some of the similarities between the two of them that you've seen personality-wise, work ethic-wise, anything? Uh, so, from a personality-wise, there, there's some similarities. I think Mo's a little bit more, you know, outgoing. But Franz is, you know, he's a funny guy. You know, like he's, he's really done a good job of just um, embracing the culture, embracing what it means to be a student athlete. And um, obviously it helps with him having some familiarity. I mean, like this is second home for the, the Wagner family. And so, um, you know, from a game perspective, I would say, you know, and I wasn't here most first year, but I would say that Franz was probably, you know, a little bit ahead of him uh, at the same age. Uh, but, you know, he's certainly one that has a confidence in himself. And uh, I love working with him, you know, much like I did with Mo. Uh, but, you know, they're two different individuals. And, um, you know, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna pour into him um, if, as much, if not more, than we did with, with Mo. X said the biggest difference was that Franz actually plays defense. No question. No <laughs> question. And I texted Mo that, like, after the first couple practices. I was like, this dude actually plays defense. It's like, I don't know what you caught it, you know, those first couple of years. So, but, uh, but again, I think a lot of that has to do with, um, you know, Franz, a, a lot like Mo, uh, being able to play and have some pro uh, experience mm -hmm. coming over here, but playing a different position, yep. you, know, um, you know, Franz, you know, is probably more athletic, a little bit more quick twitch than Mo was coming in, and uh, both very high IQ players. Um, Franz is shooting the ball pretty well right now. So, you know, we're, we're excited, you know, to, to, to have him and what he's going to bring to the program uh, moving forward. And, um, you know, we're, we, we look forward to him to having a great career and hopefully even a bigger career than, than Mo did. What, when Juwan divided up different roles and responsibilities for each of the assistants, what did that process look like? How did you guys come to that conclusion? Well, we didn't come to anything. Mm -hmm. Coach, you know, kind of made those decisions. I mean, it's basketball, mm -hmm. you know, and, and I think the beauty of our staff, when you look at uh, H and, and Phil, like there's a ton of experience, uh, you know, on their staff. We didn't just wake up one day and, all right, we're here to coach. And, you know, like Coach Phil has been doing it at a high level for 30 plus years. H, you know, been playing and coaching at the highest level, you know, for over 20 years. Same with Coach Juwan, and I've been here, you know, going on year 14. So, like, I think that, um, you know, we, we've done a lot of what we've always done, you know, individually in our different, you know, career paths up until now. And so, you know, it's basically like, Coach, what do you need? That's what we're going to do. Because at the end of the day, we're trying to drive Coach uh, Juwan's agenda and uh, making this the best uh, Michigan basketball it can be. What kind of difference do you think the international is going to make in this year college basketball? Do you have any sense of what it's going to be? I mean, is it going to change it dramatically? I don't think it's going to change it dramatically because a lot of guys were already shooting from here. I think what you're going to see is in the corners, 
where you have a smaller space, at least early on. Uh, spatially, you might see guys stepping out of bounds a little bit more. Uh, but, you know, I think it helps, obviously, with the, the floor spacing for overall game offensively. But I, I don't know that it's going to make any dramatic changes. Um, you know. Less threes? Definitely won't be less threes taken. Right. <laughs> it, might be, it might be a few less threes right. made. But um, and you and you might see some 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 folks do some things uh, defensively, uh, systematically to maybe even encourage you know a little bit deeper threes because the lines extended. But you know I think that's kind of a to be determined kind of thing, and we all find out together. Howard just said that he feels like for a guy like Dave, the the change as far as system is concerned mm -hmm. is going to allow him to maybe come out of his shell a little bit, mm -hmm. like be a little more open, a little more free. Having been in the old system and now in the new one, can you kind of compare him for us and from your perspective how things are going to look and be different? Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I think change is good. And, um, you know, I, I think that, you know, although there's some similarities from the old to the new, uh, there are enough differences where I think where a guy like Dave could take advantage, you know, of, of his strength of being able to score the ball, um, a little bit more freedom to, you know, make some plays. But, I mean, at the end of the day, um, you know, guys got to step up and absorb, you know, the system. Uh, 